Good morning, people of Earth. Today is storage locker day. And we're going in through that door. And first time I've seen right. it too. Let's go check out our locker. It's down here. All right, this is it. Why do we get a little door? Everybody else gets a big door. That don't seem right. All right. You always carry a little handy breaking, breaching tool with you. Well, the video there was pretty lousy, no light, and I don't, I don't have a good rig. I'm just doing this off my phone. Uh, so we have a little bit of a problem. We are packing and planning for a 10 foot space, and we have a nine foot space. So I'm not sure where that mistake happened, but I do think it's gonna impact how much stuff we can keep, and what we're taking, and how we're doing this. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. We're picking up the van in about two hours. Gotta go. Good morning, good people of Earth. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. Uh, we have, most of our home is empty. We still have two rooms that have a bunch of items that need to be sorted through. We will get to that in the next week or so. We're gonna delay the sale of our house for a week so that we have some time to do that and do some repairs. We wanna get a good price um, for the house, but we're not terribly concerned about um, how much we get for it. That's less less important than uh, getting the process moving along. We have lived in the trailer for about three weeks now. That sounds about right. We have not yet to shower in the trailer, so that's going to be a, a, a big challenge for us. Uh, not sure exactly how long a six gallon water heater is going to last for two people. Uh, I really like to take hot showers, really hot showers, and long hot showers. So I think this is going to be my, my biggest sacrifice. So we have uh, just a little bit of stuff left. We have the uh, liquidation people are, are coming today to get supposedly the last of it. They're also taking our, our bus, which is for sale. Uh, kind of walking in the middle of the street here. And that, that's gonna be a big burden off of us. We still have one other vehicle to sell. We have two other vehicles. We're not sure we're gonna keep one of them and possibly get rid of the other. My mission today for lunch, my lunch break, is I'm going to pay for a post office box so that we've got a consistent place for mail in between this transition. I don't know what mail facilities are at the RV park. And the second part is I'm actually going to pay for our first month of RV uh, space rent. So that's the mission. Things have been a little chaotic. I did not make any videos in the last two days, but there is going to be a dedicated video to a company called Daffodil Storage. Apparently they've got this uh, little bit of an issue where they will advertise 10 by 10 storage spaces and when you get there, um, if you have any sense of space whatsoever, you'll question it. And if you measure it, my space, the advertised 10 by 10 was nine by nine. They said that that's approximately the, the space, 10 by 10 is approximately. Um, that's not, not cool. If you have 40 units in a row and you're shaving a foot off of each of one of those, uh, you have uh, four more storage spaces that you can sell. And that's exactly what they're doing. So I'll get into that. I'm still really, really upset. If you know me, I tend not to be um, too over the top. I don't get melancholy. I don't get angry very often. But damn, I was pissed. Um, apparently, I still am. So we'll deal with that in a little bit. Thanks for sticking with us and uh, be good to one another. Don't cheat anybody on space rent because it's just slimy.
So I'm at the RV park and uh, they have another space that's opening up that they think may be a better space. So I'm gonna go check that out right now. And I'm not sure, it's a bigger space for sure. still going to need to play uh, musical trucks. So I don't know, let me flip this around and, and see if this may work. But yeah, hey, you know, there's always something interesting. Going all right down the hill, all right down the hill from the other spot. Sorry, I don't have my seatbelt on. I'll fix that. My seatbelt. Okay, good boy. We're going to drive up and see the other space. I've got a visual on both. If I can find it. I don't know if you can see uh, out the side windows, but there's a there's a pretty big, big facility. Lots of campers, lots of people, lots of kids. I'm really excited. This is crazy. And we're right now... I'd say we're 15 feet from the, the bike trail, and I'm really, really excited about that. All right, so we now have a space rented. We switched over from up on the hill to kind of down in the middle. That space is a little bit larger. I hope, uh, I hope it works out. I hope I didn't make a mistake, but you know, whatever. Uh, we'll deal with it. Nothing. Uh, Nothing that uh, is going to be a fatal mistake here, so I'm not going to stress. Uh, just got our P.O. box in this cute little town. Um, I, I do like the people here. They, they tend to be a little bit more conservative than my tastes, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut and just get along with everybody. Uh, very, very cute little town. And now I'm heading back to the office after taking care of business. Two more things down on the to-do list. So we've got a P.O. box, we've got a space. Uh, we just gotta get the rest of our stuff gone. Get our bus gone. I closed the bus Twitter account this morning. Kind of a sad time. I don't think we're doing a Twitter account for the new the new trailer. I don't think it's gonna happen. Don't, uh, didn't get a whole lot of interaction for the twi first Twitter account. And, Maybe I'll just consolidate everything to YouTube. So now, heading back to work. Uh, hopefully I can get some stuff done today and then uh, help the beautiful bride go through her stuff, get all that cleared up, get our house prepped and get it for sale. Um, oh, I did get confirmation that uh, the real estate agent is good with moving back the picture date and the listing date for another week. So we're good there. I think that's all I got. Be good to one another. Um, and I'm not driving distracted, so I'm paying attention to the road. I don't care what people say. <laughs>